Hey guys, how's uh, Tuesday? It's Tuesday, right? Pretty sure it's Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna answer a few of these questions for you guys um, that I've been asked from my previous video. Uh, the first one I'm gonna start with is a comment that was left. Uh, let's see here, it says, I am curious. I'm not in any way saying that you were more guarded in the past i.e. how you did your vlogs. I may, I may remember wrong, but here you seem so open and intimate and friendly. Have you had an experience, like a deep experience, such as a psychedelic trip or dot 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 question mark? So is there an experience that has led me to be different from the last time, I guess a year ago when I was posting more frequently? Well, honestly, there's been a lot of experiences. I've uh, lived on my own for the first time in my life. I, I actually I got married when I was uh, just out of high school, um, and uh, that was seven years, seven year marriage. So uh, it wasn't until quite later in life when I when I got out on my own to where I lived by myself. Uh, last year was pretty much all alone, uh, and that's. You know, living in a codependent uh, relationship, uh, it's very easy to blame and to, you know, kind of diffuse responsibility for what's going on. But when you're on, when you're alone, it's it's all you. <laughs> you don't get to blame anyone else but yourself. Uh, and it's probably one of the most introspective experiences of my life. Um, also one of the most lonely and one of the most uh, hopeless. <laughs> I mean, it's tough to go from living in a large family to having a partner that's there constantly and then just kind of being away from family and from partner from for such a long time. It was tough for me. So, But I learned a lot. I learned, my biggest lesson I'd have to say is that I learned to just accept things the way they are. To, that I can't change them, that I can't make everything into the ideal situation before I go and deal with it. I really have to accept things the way they are, and um, I guess I this could be a really long video, guys. I'm sorry. I, I had an experience where I had to go. I had to go run down to get my driver's license renewed, and they require social, uh, social, excuse me, birth certificate. And that birth certificate was something I couldn't find. So, uh, for for my job, I actually have to have a valid ID. And so I went to uh, the social security. I mean the birth certificate department, whatever they call that, on my bicycle on one of the hotter days of the year, and. Um, I'm very pale skinned. It, the sun does not like me very much. Uh, so it was tough. It was tough to, you know, ride on the bicycle across town a pretty decent distance to get this this paperwork, my uh, birth certificate. And so then I went up to a DMV that was across the other side of town, which was even a longer ride. And, and when I got there, I was fairly exhausted and um, it, it, that was the wrong driver's license division. I had to go back to a block or two away from where I was originally and I, w I was I I would have normally been been very upset about that like having to go back and put up with that kind of bullshit um, you know to, but I realized the only reason I'm upset I was doing something difficult and I knew it was difficult when I set out to do it and I don't mind doing difficult things the th part where I would have been upset was thinking that I was doing something that I shouldn't have to do. Now, if I'd started off originally thinking, well, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, you know, do this extra trip. I'm going to have to go to three places instead of two. I would have just gone to the three places and wouldn't have bothered me. But the thought that I shouldn't have to go to this extra place that's what upset that's what would have upset me and in the past I've been very upset uh, rip roaring pissed and I realized you know I, I just gotta accept it you know had I expected that I would have been just fine 
and then I kind of, you know, reflect back on, on a lot of things in my life where I felt, you know, like I, you know, being alone for, for instance, I, I feel like I shouldn't be alone, you know, um, being sex deprived. <laughs> I, I feel like I should be having regular sex with, you know, a partner. I shouldn't be single. All these things. These are just thoughts in my mind. And, and I torment myself with this. I torment myself with saying that I shouldn't. You know, and, and the reality is is that I am. I am in this situation. And that's kind of been my big change. So my allowance of the world to be the way it is, I guess, has probably opened me up a lot. Um, also, my desire to be intimate, I guess, to be understood intimately, to have someone to talk to, which probably opens me up a little bit, too, because, you know, I'm reaching out I guess to my little webcam there so I'm just gonna end this video right here at six minutes that's just one question and I'll make another video for the next questions questions all right thanks